It is so great to see so many of you who have come to help us celebrate our 20th anniversary of Greensboro, East Greensboro now. All of you are very special to us, and I know you know about some of the things that this organization has done over the 20 years, and we're glad that you have been a part of it. So on behalf of the Board of Directors and our Chairman and our, our staff, we want to welcome you. We hope that you will enjoy your stay here, learn more about us, fellowship with one another, and just have a wonderful time this evening. Thanks for being here. It is a very exciting time for us at East Greensboro now. In fact, as 2018 draws to a close, we have several milestones to mark. First of all, of course, we're celebrating 20, our 20 year anniversary as the Community Development Corporation. We are leading the charge on community and economic development initiatives in East Greensboro. And most visibly over the past two years, we changed our organization name from East Market Street Development Corporation to East Greensboro Now. This clearly reflects our commitment on the focus of East Greensboro. There are several people in this room tonight, some of which will be recognized, who deserve much of the credit that this vision of 20 years and for the progress that we continue to make. On this occasion, it is good to reflect on what East Greensboro now is successful for and also to set out the strategy going forward. As you will hear very shortly, the board and the staff of East Greensboro now are now sitting or not sitting around twiddling our thumbs. We actually create and facilitate partnerships. We aid in the development of commercial property and housing. We advocate and participate in neighborhood development. We train entrepreneurs and support business development, and we take the lead in maintaining the integrity of the city's development of East Greensboro. That's a lot of work, right? Yes. All right. We seek to nurture opportunities and wealth in East Greensboro for today and the future. Uh, a lovely lady who is the mayor, who is a sociologist, by the name of Carolyn Allen, got with Sue Swartz, who was in the planning department, and said, we need to do something about East Market Street. In particular that time, how would we change East Market Street from uh, just being in a deteriorating building street until something that's vibrant and reflects the neighborhood? So the, the idea of an agency, of some sort of entity, came out of the community planning team, a group of volunteers from the American Planning Association that came for five days in October of 1995. And there were lots of ideas about what East Market Street, the street, the corridor could become and the neighborhoods around it. But then the question was, who's going to do it? And the idea came out of the recommendations from the team that there needed to be a lead agent that 24-7, their job was to think about that corridor to think, find ways to implement recommendations, to bring people together in community organizing, to advocate for funding and that kind of thing. And that's literally how it started. The original boundaries that we were dealing with was this way to, to Lee Street, that's the south, and going this way to Lindsay. And we stopped at church, and initially as far as English, and then we would move all the way down to Bessemer. Because you can imagine cities coming in saying, hey, this is going to be awesome, but this is also the same city that 20 years prior or 30 years prior was urban renewal. So there was that distrust factor. Mac literally went to each business, each property owner up and down the corridor to talk to them about the streetscape, what it was going to look like so that we could do the work. East Market Street before the streetscape. It was a six-lane highway. So our goal was to make it more appealing, narrow Market Street down, put some parking up on the side, and things of that nature. So we recognized and wanted, and that was part of our plan, how do we increase minority entrepreneurship? So what do we do? We get involved in it. So we got a program called REAL. The main thing in the entrepreneurship class is putting a business plan together. So I don't think I could have done it without having that class. I've seen a number of startups who were not as successful 
without going through the real entrepreneurship class as others I've seen. One of the early projects that we did was the conversion of the Dudley Lee uh, Commercial Center and I think we leveraged about $800,000 of subsidized dollars for the total project. Well, I don't know if it's the biggest, but it's, it, to me it, it was a significant milestone um, when they did Jonesboro Landing. It, it showed an investment into the community that hadn't been there, and so I think that was a, a great milestone for them. We've grown immensely. I think we've grown in, in stature as we're understanding what we had to address, but as we expanded our horizons, we found more to be important to us than just the streetscape and then just the commercial buildings. So they came, worked together on what that would look like, that go-to organization for East Greensboro. They came up with, the, among their board, East Greensboro Now as their, um, their new name encompassing all of East Greensboro. The partnership that we have with the staff and with city council makes a difference. We could not do any of this without the support and the guidance of the city of Greensboro. The next 20 years, it is about a strong Greensboro, but a strong Greensboro in the East. But I'd like to see us kind of buttress in with some of downtown Greensboro. And then the other is uh, East Market Street goes all the way out to Window where they built GTCC out there. I like to see us expand and like we opened up the roads here. Well, I, honestly, I would like to see um, the need for our organization to go away. Uh, and that would mean that East Greensboro as a whole has been elevated and, and the value is there, the equity is there, and, and we don't have to have a concerted effort around one particular part of town. For those of you who can't be here, and for those of you who are here, thank you, thank you for all you've done, all support for East Greensboro and support this organization. You know, I can't say thank you to everyone all the time, but at this time I want to let you know, thank you for making this a great 20 years. I wanted to do something a little different in terms of uh, highlights. Uh, one of the things uh, that, that we come across a lot of times when we meet people is, well, what do you guys do? Um, and so you heard earlier those pillars, community development, economic development, minority entrepreneurship, um, and even coming out of community development is affordable housing now. Uh, so that's kind of a high level. But then from there, so what does that look like? Well, that means working in neighborhoods, um, really trying to drive citizen empowerment. Uh, it's working with entrepreneurs. It's working with businesses. It's working with public institutions. It's relationships with other nonprofit agencies, uh, our government agencies, um, visitors to, to the city and, and to the east in particular. So I look at it uh, as an organization that, that we're, really, we're really catalysts. Um, or if you think uh, in terms of maybe that connective tissue, because we're behind the scenes, uh, we facilitate, we support others. It's not about us you know, beating our chest and, and standing out front necessarily, but making sure things happen again to, to improve quality of life in East Greensboro and, and, and produce more investment in this part of the city. Uh, when we talk about the last 20 years of our organization and activity in East Greensboro, that total investment, public and private, is probably north of $750 million. So we want to continue that momentum right now, and we've got some things going and some things coming along. Uh, certainly going to share some information later on that hopefully will get you all as excited as we are. Thank you. I'm bringing you something new and exciting that we can move into the future. You just heard Phil talk about um, some things to come, and you saw in the video of the history. We got to do 20 more years, but not just 20 more years, but 20 and 20 and 20. And so. When we think about investing, you have to think about opportunity. And when you think about opportunity, you have to think about access and accessibility. In Greensboro, we have opportunity. We have available land. We have incentive, work, a workforce, 
that is preparing and we are willing to incentivize investment. We have this most prominently in one direction. East. In the East, we are experiencing a renaissance. We are receiving recognition and we are leading a revolution. Today marks the first day of a new direction. East Greensboro has it all. Available land, available infrastructure, and an available workforce. East Greensboro is home. It's prime for opportunity, and let's face it, East Greensboro is cool. We want East Greensboro to be your home, touting a diverse housing stock from Willow Oaks based on a traditional neighborhood development model to the newly renovated Revolution Mill Apartments, which boasts more than $180 million in investment. The Reedy Fork subdivision includes its own elementary school along with a swimming pool and tennis courts with miles of sidewalks, trails, and walkways. Reedy Fork is an ideal place to live and play. The diverse housing options range from apartments and starter homes to generational homes and dream houses. East Greensboro has a new housing stop with a focus on affordability. The apartments at Revolution Mill were built a few years ago, while Proximity Printworks Mill will begin renovation in 2018 and include affordable apartments. East Greensboro represents opportunity. Leading businesses such as Procter & Gamble and Replacements Limited call East Greensboro home, along with several top-rated universities with major growth plans. Opportunities abound in East Greensboro thanks to the Greensboro Randolph Megasite which is designed for a large-scale industrial manufacturer. The City of Greensboro will provide business support services, a pro-business environment, and leverage all core economic and infrastructure assets to help encourage new capital investment and job creation in East Greensboro. East Greensboro is cool, with plenty of places to play. We have multiple parks and gardens, including the Keeley Park Pump Track, and Bryan Park Soccer Pavilion, which generates up to $40 million a year. There's also the 11-acre interactive gateway gardens and the indoor tennis courts at Barber Park, along with its spray ground, disc golf course, Simpkins Indoor Sports Pavilion, amphitheater, and picnic shelters. We would be remiss if we failed to mention East Greensboro houses the 2015 and the 2017 HBCU National Champions the North Carolina A&T football team. The greatest homecoming on earth, hashtag GHO, has East Greensboro written all over it. If golf is your thing, choose from the manicured greens at Bryant Park or the rolling hills at Gillespie Golf Course. You've seen how exciting the future is for East Greensboro. You've seen the advantages to live, work, and play in East Greensboro. Now it's time to invest in East Greensboro. For more information, visit eastgso.com.